Today we're going to cover burning mouth syndrome. It's become quite a common issue in general practice and um, we're seeing a lot of patients coming in with burning mouth syndrome. So, uh, Kavita, can you just tell us um, uh, what type of symptoms would patients come in with burning mouth syndrome? Um, so patients come in, they usually say they've got some spontaneous burning sensation in their mouth. Mm -hmm. It can vary from something like numbness or tingling mm -hmm. to something that's burning like as if you've had something really hot. Okay. Um, is it, it the whole tongue or is it just the tip of the tongue? It mainly is the tongue, but mm -hmm. it can be localised and generalised. It can affect okay. the palate, the lips as well. So it really mm -hmm. just depends okay. on the patient. Okay. So um, the patient might come in and might say that on and off I'm getting a uh, burning sensation on my tongue. Uh, then you have to start taking some history from the patient. So uh, first look at your patient and see what the patient looks like. See if there's any signs of anemia, whether they look unwell. Um, look at even their nail beds, see if there's enough blood flow in their nails um, and then you can then ask them a little bit about their medical history, if they've got any medical problems related to that and then after that you can then um, check inside their mouth. So what do you look at when you check inside their mouth? You look at the general tissues, you ask them which areas are burning mm -hmm. but also you want to do your normal um, Neutral examination of soft tissues. Mm -hmm. If they've got something like a deficiency iron mm -hmm. or B12, sometimes their tongue can be raw, beefy, mm -hmm. kind of inflamed. Mm -hmm. So it all just depends on sort of what's causing it. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it also can appear perfectly normal. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and I've noticed that a lot of people come in and say it's just the tip of their tongue. Uh, there might be some patches on the tongue, but as you say, it, sometimes it just appears very normal. Um, so once you've done that, I think as part of this syndrome, the main thing is really history taking, because um, you need to really try and find out what has happened uh, that always different to what they routinely do that may have onset this. Uh, so uh, what questions would you ask them? Um, to ask them if anything's changed, if the medication's changed, because also things like xerostomia can cause the burning mouth. So if they've got any new medicines that are causing this, it could be an Very issue. Good. Yeah. If they've changed their toothpaste, some toothpaste, mm -hmm. um, patients are more uh, sensitive to those toothpaste, mm -hmm. it can also cause those. Mm -hmm. And just general lifestyle changes like stress. Mm -hmm. Stress, anxiety. Uh, so menopause is another one. So um, I think you mentioned that 33% of postmenopausal woman could actually get sensation of burning tongue syndrome so menopause is another um, issue hormonal changes um, so um, once you felt that you know what type of um, you know issue it is what would your management style be um, we need to find out what caused it before you can treat the cause mm -hmm. so I would ask the patient to see their GP for mm -hmm. some blood tests which will check the vitamins mm -hmm. um, levels things like that um, so vitamin uh, b12 iron and iron, zinc, zinc. Okay. and with yeah. zinc as well if they've also mm -hmm. got a metallic taste okay. in their mouth then it's usually because of a zinc deficiency okay good and uh, also if they've recently changed their toothpaste then maybe you could tell them to swap back to the toothpaste that we're using to see if the sensation disappears yeah, yeah. and maybe sometimes the gp can do a patch test um, and to see if uh, if you know anything they're allergic to anything um, and then how do you follow follow up the patient because it's quite important you can't just say go to your GP and then that's it uh, so what would you do afterwards after they've been to the GP and come back to you um, you see them after a week or so okay um, and see them regularly see if any if there's any improvement with any change mm -hmm. that's being made okay um, it may take a while for the mm -hmm. body to get used to it things like mm -hmm. vitamin deficiencies Okay. Um, so it may take some time, but just review. But in the meantime, you can ask them to take some ice chips. Mm -hmm. and some of them, if we put sips of cold water as well, okay. can sometimes help yeah, with burning. that's very good. So uh, water is good. Try and reduce their stress. Uh, try and take some multivitamins. And uh, if they come back to you for a follow up there and nothing's changed, then I would suggest refer to your nearest uh, oral medicine clinic and they will be able to um, check these patients to see if there's any other related issues or is there any autoimmune issues or anything going on. Okay, anything else you would like to add? No, I think we've covered, covered everything. Okay, thank you for watching us. Thank Thanks. you.